So what is a line of credit? You know, that is a fantastic question. That's actually, you know, one of the most common questions that I've received since we started this channel. And it's kind of shocking. I can't believe we don't have a video on this uh, already. But uh, what exactly is a line of credit? You know, how do you get a line of credit? And what are the various types of lines of credit that you can actually apply for? Okay, we're gonna break all that down and we're gonna discuss it in today's training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams, and on this channel, we empower individuals to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy and business ownership. If you are new to the channel, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell, so that way you get notified on any and all of our future content. So in today's video, guys, we are gonna be discussing what is a line of credit? Okay, and further, you know, how do you get a line of credit, and what are the various types of lines of credit that are actually out there? And the bottom line is this may be simple for some, but honestly, this is one of the most common questions that I have received, um, especially from new subscribers to this channel. You know, unfortunately in our current uh, educational system out there, we just simply put, don't learn enough about all the various financial products and tools that are available to us. Uh, typically, you know, everybody knows what a loan is, right? But when it comes to lines of credit, that's where things become a little bit more unclear. And so to dive right into it, guys, you know, to simply define what is a line of credit, a line of credit is in essentially an agreement between you and typically a bank where there's going to be a predefined limit of credit that they're wanting to extend to you. So let's say you were able to qualify for, based on your credit, you're able to qualify for a $20,000 line of credit. Now, a line of credit is revolving. Okay, that means you can use it and then you can use it again. You can use it again up to the max limit of that line of credit. So for example, you know, let's say you get the $20,000 line of credit and you need to do some home improvements and you're going to spend $4,000 on home improvements. So you use your line of credit. Well, so you've used 4,000 of the 20,000, you still have $16,000 worth of available room that you could use again if you had to make another purchase or, or buy something, something else. As well, since it's revolving, as you pay down, so let's say you start making payments on that 4,000, you knock it down to let's say 3,000, well now that 1,000 that you just paid it down, that's now available credit to you that you could actually use again. You know, sometimes a line of credit is referred to as a two-way lending instrument, meaning you can draw money from it, but then you can put money back into it, but then you can draw from it again, and you can put money in and take money out. You can put money in and you can take money out. You know, that's one of the big differences between a line and a loan. Again, with a loan, um, let's say you're gonna go to the car dealership, you're gonna buy a vehicle for 20 grand. And so, you know, you don't have the 20 grand in cash, so they're gonna get you a loan from a bank. So the bank is gonna ship over 20 grand so that way you can buy the vehicle. And then from there, you're gonna start paying back the bank this $20,000 with a fixed monthly payment. And part of that payment will be principal, which actually knocks down that $20,000 balance. And another portion of that payment is going to be interest, which is the fee that the bank is charging for you to use um, that $20,000 that they lent you. Okay, it's kind of like, you know, their service fee, uh, essentially interest is how the banks make money in lending. So again, with the loan, pretty straightforward. And, and you're gonna pay interest with a loan, you're gonna pay interest on the entire amount that is lent to you. So if they loan you 20 grand, you're paying interest on the full $20,000. Now with a line of credit, if you had a $20,000 limit, you're not paying interest on the size of the limit. You're paying interest on the size of the balance. So again, if you're only using $4,000 of that 20,000, you're not gonna pay interest on 20 grand, you're gonna pay interest on the 4,000. So it's a little bit more flexible and again, the ability to use and reuse the line of credit, that revolving use, that does create an extreme amount of flexibility compared to a loan. If you, let's say, and again, most of you guys have a loan, you know, whether it's a vehicle loan, whether it's a student loan, whether it's a mortgage loan, most people have, most adults have a loan of some sort, or at least you've dealt with a loan. And when it comes to a loan, sure, you've made some payments on that loan, so you've knocked down the balance of your loan, but you're not able to redraw or reuse um, that unused portion of your loan. As you pay it down, 
That's all you can really do is pay it down. You can't redraw money back out. And so that's where the line of credit um, really has some advantages because again, you could pay that line of credit down and then you still have that available credit that you can reuse. As you pay it down, you're creating more available credit that you can reuse. Now, what does it take to get a line of credit? Typically, that's gonna boil down to your credit and ultimately your credit score. And so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a really good credit score so that way you're able to get the best terms and the best rates available. If your credit score is too low, there's a very good chance that you could get denied uh, being able to open up a line of credit. So you gotta have um, above av average to above average credit to get a line of credit. And that's pretty typical, it's the same with a loan. You know, if you have really bad credit, you know, they may deny you for it. Uh, but as well, if you have super bad credit, you know, the, the interest rate is gonna be higher because the bank is taking more of a risk on you and giving you that money. So it really boils down to your credit score on whether or not you can get a line of credit. But if you have a good credit score, okay, I'd say, you know, anything 700, 720 plus is pretty decent credit. You should be able to acquire a line of credit. And there's really four common line of credit types that most people use. Now, granted, there are additional types of lines of credit, but I'm only gonna talk about the most commonly used ones for this training here. And the first type of a line of credit that you could get your hands on and apply for is what's called a personal line of credit. Okay, and this is where you simply go to your bank or go to your credit union and say, hi, I would like to open up a line of credit. And from there, they're gonna give you an application to fill out and it's gonna be based on, again, your credit score, your credit report. So again, and I really just advise this, you know, before you apply for any credit, you should know your credit score and know where you stand credit-wise before you even apply for any lines of credit or any loans. Um, big mistake to just not know your credit score and then go in there and apply. You're gonna get a hard inquiry on your credit, which can um, serve to lower your credit score if you have too many of those. So you know, know in advance what your credit score is before you apply. But with all that being said, you, you go to the bank, they have you fill out their application, and from there, they're going to give you a, if, if approved, they're gonna give you a, a limit on what your credit is. And so many times with a personal line of credit, they'll either give you a checkbook where you can write checks to pay your bills or pay for your expenses, make large purchases, and those checks draw on the line. So the, those checks don't come out of your checking account, they would go onto your line of credit balance Sometimes they'll as well give you a debit card that will as well, you can swipe it just like, a, just like a credit card. And from there, it draws on that line. The second type of line of credit that's out there, and again, not available for everybody, but for some, is called a home equity line of credit. In other words, it's called a HELOC. Uh, the personal line of credit is sometimes called a PLOC. But with a home equity line of credit, that's a HELOC. And the only way that you can actually get one of these HELOCs is if you have home equity. Uh, one of the differences between the PLOC and the HELOC is that many times the PLOC is what's called an unsecured line of credit. Unsecured simply means that there is no collateral. So you're not pledging your house or pledging a, a vehicle or some other type of asset as collateral. So if you were to default on your personal line of credit, you know they can't come after the collateral because there is none. Typically, you know, sometimes they'll secure personal lines of credit, but in most cases they're unsecured. Whereas with a home equity line of credit, it is always a secured line of credit and it's only secured. The only asset that they will allow for security is the equity in your home. So you must own a home and you must have equity in that property. So what is equity? Let's say you owe, you know, let's say you bought the house and the house is worth $200,000 and the mortgage that you have on the property is only $150,000. Well, that creates about $50,000 right there worth of equity. And a portion of that could be used to secure a home equity line of credit. The third type of line of credit, and this is probably the most common type, and this is a type that you may even actually have in your wallet or purse right now, is a credit card. Okay, a credit card is a type of a line of credit. 
And again, same scenario, you're gonna apply with a bank, they're gonna give you a predefined maximum limit on that credit card. And then from there, they're gonna send you a piece of plastic in the mail, a credit card that you can use. Uh, sometimes as well, they'll send you a checkbook, like you might get some checks that will draw on the line. So you write a check, you pay somebody with it, and it goes on to the credit card balance. And again, what I like a lot about credit cards is that if you pay the balance off before the end of the month or before the end of your billing cycle, there's no interest. Okay, so let's say you had a $20,000 credit card and you had $2,000 worth of expenses that you swiped and you put it on there. Well, as long as you pay off that two grand in full before the end of your billing cycle, you will pay no interest on using uh, that portion of your credit card. Whereas with a PLOC, okay, or, or with some other types of lines of credit, the minute you make that purchase and the balance goes onto the line, you start paying interest on it immediately. That would definitely give a little bit of an advantage to the credit card, is that again, as long as you can pay off that balance in full, they will not charge you any interest. Now, if you were to carry a balance, let's say you racked up that two grand and you only paid it down a thousand, so it's a thousand dollars that gets carried over to the following month, well, now you're gonna pay interest on that $1,000 that carried over to the following month. Now, typically credit cards are unsecured lines of credit. And because they're unsecured, because the bank has less recourse to come after you, if you default, the interest rate on credit cards can typically be pretty high. Now, we've talked about some of the best credit card offers and things like that that are available on the market right now. So what's cool is that you can actually get credit cards with a 0% interest introductory offer. That offer can last anywhere from six months up to 21 months at 0% interest. So even if you did carry a balance, they don't charge you any interest. But again, not all cards are like that. And once the introductory period runs out, then there's gonna be interest charged on that line. And the average credit card interest rate you know, they can be pretty high. They can be anywhere from 9.99% up to 21% interest. And some, depending on the bank and depending on the lender, can be even higher than that. So you wanna make sure that you're looking at the terms and conditions of your line of credit when you open it, so that way you know what to expect when it comes to the interest charge. And the fourth type of line of credit that's the most common is what's called a business line of credit. And so with the first three that we described, the PLOC, the HELOC, and a credit card, those are typically going to be personal lines of credit. So you're gonna to have to apply for them using your social security number. When it comes to a business line of credit, this is where it is attached to your business or your corporation. So you need to have a business in order to get a business line of credit. And they're going to run what's called your EIN number or your employment identification number. So it's kind of like a social security number for your business, but again, it's attached to your business and not to you personally. So if something goes wrong with your business and, you're, and you default on that particular line, okay, then they can't come after your personal credit. Okay, whereas if you default on any of these lines over here, the PLOC, the HELOC, or your credit card, and you, you don't make your payments, or you're late on making your payments, all of that can damage your personal credit. Now, keep in mind, some business lines of credit do require what's called a personal guarantee. And this is where you are gonna put your personal credit on the line, you're gonna put your social security number along with your EIN to get this business line of credit. And many times when you're just getting your first couple of lines of credit, you may have to use a personal guarantee. But over time of using lines of credit, paying them off in full, and increasing your business credit score, because that's a whole separate thing from your personal credit score, as your business credit score goes up, it lowers the chance that they're gonna need a personal guarantee to open up that business line for you. And really guys, there's more types of lines of credit that are out there depending on you know, where you're at financially, depending on the type of business or the type of structure that your business has. You know, there's uh, different types of lines of credit, but the personal line of credit, the home equity line of credit, the credit card on the personal side, and then also business lines of credit are the most common types of lines of credit that most people get their hands on. So hopefully you guys found value in this training and in this discussion about lines of credit, you know, how to get them and the different types of lines of credit that are out there. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and give it a comment below. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Uh, those of you guys that have been using lines of credit, what is your favorite type of line of credit? Depending on how someone's gonna use it, different lines offer different perks and different benefits. So what is your favorite line of credit type? You know, let me know that in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.